This could be the one that sends me to the hospital. On three, I am terrified. Tonight, I am on the hunt for the only deadly scorpion to live in the United States. This is a creature that should be avoided at all costs, but if I can catch an Arizona bark scorpion, I will intentionally take a sting, describe the pain, and show you an experience that has caused multiple human fatalities. Black light on, let's get searching. Over the years, I have been no stranger to experimenting with stings from the world's most painful creatures. Ah! But after surviving a horrible stonefish sting in Australia, ah. I thought the worst pain I could experience had been set. Oh. That is, until this video. The bark scorpion is the only scorpion in the United States that is known to possess a potentially life-threatening sting. Every year, hundreds of cases are treated in hospitals all throughout the Southwest. So as much as this video will be shocking to some, it's an important lesson on how to identify this dangerous scorpion if you ever find yourself in this terrifying situation. So the sun has completely set and you can see how much area I can cover with my black light. Now the reason I am using the beast as we call it as a tool for tonight's search is because like almost every scorpion on the planet, the Arizona bark scorpion will glow green underneath the black light. Now this flat area, not a bad place to look for scorpions. You can find them here, but the best place to look down in the wash, which is just ahead. Let's go this way. Oh, big lights on, big lights on, big lights on. We got a rattlesnake. So this is a Western diamondback rattlesnake. I know that because of the tail. See that classic black and white banding along the tail. And of course we have the rattle. Now you see how it's coiled up right here. This is a very dangerous situation to find yourself in out here in the desert. There's a common misnomer that rattlesnakes will always alert you to their position. That is not always the case. Just like this one, we came across this snake, it didn't rattle once. Now that it's more aware that we can see it, so it is rattling, but you have to be very careful out here in the desert because you never know when you're gonna come across a very dangerous snake, just like this Western Diamondback. All right, let's leave this snake alone and continue our search for the scorpions. One of the interesting things about animals in the night is they like a certain temperature range. They don't want it too hot and they definitely don't want it too cold. So we're out here right now at the beginning of the evening. As the ground temperature cools, more and more animals will come out to hunt and the scorpions will be tagging not too far behind. Look at this guys. Don't need a black light for this one, but you do want to be careful. This it's a big harvester ant nest. Look at all of those harvester ants. Now, here's an interesting fact about these ants. They're actually, per liter of venom, the most toxic insect in the world. But luckily for us, they're very small and they can only inject a tiny, minute amount at a time. So the only way to really get into trouble with harvester ants is if you're allergic or you unfortunately get swarmed, which I'm not planning to do. We're gonna walk around. So this is a scorpion hole. No scorpion, but see how it's long ways? That's from the pinchers coming out this way. That's a big scorpion den right there. Got a scorpion right here. Scorpion. I can't tell what kind it is, but I definitely have one. See it right here? Right there. I'm going to carefully move around here. Oh, it's, it's on to me. Got him. Gonna pinch me a little bit and then before it calms down. Okay, look at that venom at the tip of the tail. Ah, let go of me. Ah. I've got a good hold. Look at that. I mean, unmistakable, right? Like you are not gonna miss something glowing out here in the desert that color. But unfortunately, this is not the bark scorpion that we are looking for. This is actually a very small desert hairy scorpion. One that I have already been stung by. Oh, you're pinching me. One that I have already been stung by for the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. 
but this is a good sign that there are scorpions on the move. Let's put this little desert hairy back down where we found it and keep searching. Bye, buddy. Oh, oh, here we go. Got a scorpion. Hang on, this one's different. Yep, okay. We have another species. But here's the deal. It's not an Arizona bark scorpion. However, it is the scorpion species that is most often mistaken for a bark scorpion. Let me show you how I can tell that it is not one. Look at this. Those three stripes on the tail, that is how I know what I have here is none other than the Southern Devil Scorpion. Pretty crazy name, right? What? Yeah, the Devil Scorpion, also known as a striped tail. Now, I have never been stung by this species before. I think, I think we all know what you're thinking. And I would agree to double sting. Should we do double sting, guys? Yes. All right, we're out here attempting to put these scorpions on the bite sting index. So I think this video just turned into a double sting test, but our search is not over. Let's put this in a small container and keep looking for the bark scorpion we came all this way to find. Got a scorpion. Oh, 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 oh. Don't spook it, don't spook it, don't spook it. Got it. Oh my goodness. Bark scorpion. Uh, Bark scorpion. Look at that. This is the most dangerous scorpion in all of North America and one that has actually been responsible for human deaths. Okay, oh, ho, ho, ho. I cannot believe we found it. We were about to give up and head home for the night. Sure enough, this is the scorpion that I will now go up against to show you what it's like to get stung by one of the most feared arachnids in the world, the bark scorpion of the United States. Let's go set up the sting table. Well, I would call that a very successful late night scorpion hunt because we found not one, but two new species of scorpion to rate on the bite sting index. And instead of putting them off till the end of the video, I think I'd rather get into it right now. Let's enter the sting zone with the devil scorpion. Oh, here we go. Just wanna get a good hold. Got it. Can't feel a pinch, but I'll tell you what I will be able to feel, the tip of that stinger once I get injected with the scorpion's venom. While I fully expect the bark scorpion to be worse, knowing what I know about scorpions, this one's still going to pack a powerful punch. So I'm gently going to cover the scorpion like this, release the stinger, and then whap, take a sting. Try my best to recover the scorpion after the sting, but this is going to hurt. You guys ready? You got your shot? This is gonna happen really fast and I only wanna do it once. You ready? All right, let's enter the sting zone with the devil scorpion on three. One, two, three. Definitely painful, but as I expected, not unbearable. I would put it right there with the bee sting. I'm curious to see what the reaction will be over the next 24 hours 
So once I see what the aftermath is at the end of this video, we will give the Devil Scorpion an official BSI rating. But now it's time for the main event. Let's get the Bark Scorpion out. Here we go. That is the real deal, the Bark Scorpion. When it comes to scorpions that could be potentially dangerous and even life-threatening, the Bark Scorpion is the only scorpion that lives in the United States that's considered potentially deadly. And if you're wondering if I'm nervous, I am terrified. This sting pushes the limit. I just hope, I hope I can make it through this one, guys. This one, this one could be bad. I'm gonna take the scorpion out of the container so I could show you some of the key identifiers to know if you're looking at the Arizona bark scorpion or not. Okay, here we go. There are three main things you wanna look for. See how the claws are very elongated. They're not powerful. They do not hurt. They can't really pinch you like a giant desert hairy scorpion could. Ah, yeah. These claws are very delicate and they just use their claws for eating. They're not using those claws to capture their prey. What they are using though, is their extraordinarily potent venom. If you look at the tip of the tail, the telson is what it's called. At the base of the stinger, the bark scorpion has a tooth. See that little notch? I can barely see it with my own eyes, but it's there. And that's how I was able to confirm this is a bark scorpion. No tooth, no bark. The third and most practical way to know that you're dealing with the bark scorpion is just by observing how you found it in the first place. Here we go, watch this. See that? Ran right underneath this piece of wood, hanging upside down. And these scorpions like to hide like this, guys, out of sight, inverted underneath objects. So you can see here easily why people often get stung by bark scorpions. You're doing yard work, you pick up a piece of wood or a rock, you don't see the scorpion, you accidentally grab it, bam, you're stung. And what's worse than that, you often don't even see what stung you, but you sure can feel it. Now, it's time for the moment that I have been dreading for over 15 years, ever since I started coming to the Sonoran Desert. Quick PSA, I feel obligated to tell you, like I always tell you, but this one, guys, I'm very serious. Never attempt to recreate what you are about to see. All right, guys. I hope I'm going to be okay and that this is just very painful in terms of an experience, but there's a chance that this might be the one, this could be the one that sends me to the hospital. Like we always do for the bite sting index, I'm going to rate the sting of this scorpion on three different factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath. I am intimidated, very much so. The pain, I believe is going to be very severe and for aftermath, this could be a high score. That's what I'm really curious about. How bad are the symptoms from this sting going to actually be for the next 24 hours? Will I be just fine, shake it off, or will I have to go seek medical attention? It's time to find out. Just like last time, I'm gonna cover the scorpion, release the stinger, whap, take the sting. My heart is beating out of my chest. I feel absolutely feel fear right now. This is for real, I'm doing it. I'm Mark Benz and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Arizona Bark Scorpion. I am terrified. On three. One, two, three. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's terrible. 
bad. It's, it's just my whole thing, my whole hand's numb. My whole hand is numb. Radiating heat. It's like, it, it's so, so painful. Oh my gosh. I have never felt instant pain like that. I thought it was going to be bad, but I did not think it was going to be this bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, more painful than stonefish. It's more painful than the bullet ant. It's way more painful than the bullet ant. Oh. Wow, we have a new king today. Oh, oh gosh, it really burns. It really burns to touch. It's so tender. It's so tender all through my finger. Oh gosh, and it hit me like I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready, I was not prepared for it to be this bad. Oh, it's getting worse. It feels like my whole hand's just like wanting to like curl up and seize. My whole finger is like almost like going paralyzed. Ah, ah, that hurts. Oh, and it's swelling bad. Look at that. Look at the, look at my finger swelling up. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Never in my life have I felt a pain so shocking and so jarring. And what's crazier is the build of this sting was the first time I seriously thought about going to the hospital. In over 10 years of making videos on Brave Wilderness, I've never had to go or even thought about going, but this sting gets scary. For intimidation, this scorpion gets a huge score because it is well known for being the worst and most dangerous scorpion in North America. No other scorpion even comes close to being as feared as this one. And for that, it gets a 9.8 out of 10. For pain, I know I've had gnarlier looking stings before like the bullet ant and the tarantula hawk that made my arm flare up right away. But this one was worse by far. It was like being struck by a lightning bolt of pain that made me jump up in the air and my whole hand shocked into numbness within a matter of seconds, leaving behind a pulsating pins and needles electrical fire in its wake. Simply put, it's a solid 10 of 10. For aftermath, this is where it got bad. The electrical pins and needles in my hand got worse, almost too painful to even touch. And then it started to spread, first up the top of my arm, then my whole arm up to my elbow went numb. And that radiating Charlie horse pain got worse and worse and worse. And as the pain started to creep past my elbow, I thought I was certainly going to need to go to the hospital. And I'll admit to you right now, I was terrified that I had finally pushed it too far. And I told myself, if it gets to my shoulder, we're going. But luckily for me, it stopped just short. And after about 12 hours of numbness, it retreated back to my elbow. And by the next morning, it was only radiating in my hand and wrist. All in all, it took four days to regain feeling in most of my hand, but my finger and thumb took a full week to recover. So I'm sure by now you've guessed it. The aftermath was also a 10 out of 10, giving the Arizona Bark Scorpion a total BSI score of a 9.9 which easily dethrones the bullet ant and making it the brand new king of sting. Now don't think I forgot about that first sting guys. Here's the ranking of the devil scorpion. For intimidation, it's quite small, but its name certainly is worth an extra point all on its own. For that, I give it a 7.6 out of 10. For pain, it was really on par with the bee sting, maybe a little bit worse on the front end. So it gets a 7.9 out of 10. For aftermath, the pain radiated for about a day around the sting site but there wasn't any major swelling or other symptoms to note. So for that, it only gets a six out of 10, giving the Devil Scorpion a total BSI rating of a 7.2, which is a very reasonable score for such a tiny scorpion.